Hello everyone, I am Madhav and in this video I tried making an Instagram reel slash story commercial for one of my favorite coffee brands that is Sleepy All Coffee. This video is not at all sponsored by Sleepy All or by anyone so please keep that in mind. I'll also take you through the behind the scenes of the shoot and give you a short by short breakdown of the whole commercial. Also, I made this whole commercial on my smartphone that is the OnePlus 7 and no fancy studio lights were used at all. Also, if you like this sort of stuff, make sure you follow me on Instagram because I keep giving behind the scenes and another sneak peeks of what I am doing. My Instagram audience got to see the whole commercial a little earlier as I posted it as a reel. Also, I was a one man crew throughout the video so if the behind the scenes shots are from a little weird angle, please forgive me. Now let's start the video. So I prepared this a little short list of what all shots I need to take so that it makes the whole process a lot easier when you have a look of what the final video will look like. You can use a storyboard instead but since I hate drawing, I skipped it. I also took my desk lamp light and tried using it as a studio light but that thing is very harsh spotlight. So I took a normal white piece of cloth and covered the light with it so you can see the difference it makes. It eliminates the harsh shadow on the object. So this was a straight up shot. I just poured the coffee I already had brewed into the cup with no extra lights. I even turned off my lamp light because it was creating a shadow that I didn't like. So from now I need a consistent pastel color backdrop for my commercial. For this, I bought two pink colored chart papers and duct tape. I put one of the chart paper on my desk and another on the facing wall. It helped me in creating a very clean all pink backdrop on my video. Now what helped me a lot which was completely unexpected was the LED strip lights behind the desk. It created a nice separation from the foreground and made the frame look more dynamic. But there was one problem that it was creating two hot spots on both ends of the frame. To fix this, I just took two white sheets of paper and covered the LED strip that were creating a hot spot so you can see the result. It looks so much better. Now for the actual shot, I had to take the brew packet out of the box. For the box to completely stay still in that position, I taped the bottom of the box to the table and also taped its flaps so that the packet comes out in one smooth flow. So here is the shot. So for this shot, I practiced it a couple of times on an earlier open packet to get a one clean shot but still managed to fuck it up. Fuck. I don't know how. But since this shot takes so little time in the actual commercial, I figured out that it won't be much noticeable. This was followed by me extending the packet mouth and taking the brew contents from inside. Shot 4 Dropping the packet It was a pretty straightforward shot and then I just took the packet and dropped it in the container. What I have done here to make the transition a lot smoother is added a custom zoom in and zoom out. This was all done in post production so I am not going to do an exact breakdown of how I did this. If you guys want a complete editing breakdown do let me know in the comments below. Who am I even talking to? I have like 200 subs. Then I completed this shot by adding water in the container and that's pretty much it. Shot 5 The Owl Animation So to transition into the next shot, I have used this little animation here of a ticking clock and owl rising up. I made this animation in Adobe After Effects. It was pretty straightforward animation, didn't take much time. This was followed up by a container shot and that's it. 
Although it takes about 24 hours for the coffee to completely brew, I didn't wait for that much long because I was much dependent on natural light and can't be so sure that the lighting conditions will be same for the next day. And also I'm just impatient. So for this shot, I just smashed the glass on the table wishing that it won't crack otherwise my mom will crack me up and followed it by pouring ice in the glass. To transition between these shots, I added a little camera shake and that worked pretty well. Also, I went ahead and poured the blue that we just made in the glass and also spilled a little of it. So while this shot was done, I had to reverse the whole chart paper because of the brew stain and I didn't want it in the rest of my video. So I'm pretty sure you have seen this shot on YouTube about a zillion times already courtesy of Peter McKinnon and Daniel Schaeffer but I did this again because it's a coffee commercial. Duh. So these were simply static shots of first of the coffee and then of the hero shot with sleepy all coffee packet and then a glass of cold brew. I added a light leak transition in between these shots and that's pretty much it. So this is how the final commercial looks like. Also, you guys might ask why I didn't put any of a background music. Well, I wanted to give this an ASMR kind of sound and that worked pretty well according to me. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. So that's pretty much it for this video. This is my first time trying to make such a commercial. Please give your constructive feedbacks in the comments below. Make sure you like this video if you love the content. Also, I make this type of stuff on a regular basis. So hit the subscribe button if you are interested. And I'll meet you guys in the next one.